Lesson 2. Basic Input and Output To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it, as we did in Lesson 1. We begin this lesson with the Hello World program that we wrote in Lesson 1. We didn't explain the code in that lesson, however we will explain it here. This lesson focuses on input and output for the console window. The console window was the black window that we saw in Lesson 1, when we executed the program, it looks like this. Input and output is a large topic. For the current lesson, we will cover enough so that we can communicate with and get feedback from the programs that we write. With that said, we will get back to our Hello World program. The first line of the program is an include statement. As you might imagine, this includes something. What is being included here is the file for input and output streams. What is meant by a stream will be covered later, so we'll just remark that this includes the code necessary for input and output. Looking at the next line, we have the main function. This is the place where the computer executes the program. Main is a function, but we'll discuss what that means later. For now, it suffices to know that main is where the execution begins. The last line is pretty much the only active code here. C-O-U-T is pronounced C-out and stands for console output which means that we send the message hello world to the console window. ENDL stands for endline, and it means that we return to the start of the line below. Without the endline character, our output would look like this. Notice that press any key to continue is now on the same line as hello world. Back to our original program, there are a few things which remain unexplained. STD is short for standard and indicates that this is part of the C++ standard. The double colon will be explained later. Likewise, we will talk more about the double less than sign. For now, just consider the double less than as something we put between items that are sent to the console window. Finally, we have our return statement which ends the program and will be explained more in depth at a much later time. Let's look at another program. For most of the tutorials in this series, you can simply replace the hello world program code in our original project as we have done here and compile and execute as we did before by selecting Start Without Debugging. Although we are using Visual Studio for our Lesson 1 tutorial, the code in our C++ console series should work with any compiler. This program takes the statement CIN, which is pronounced CN. As you might guess, this stands for console input and takes things in from the console window. Notice that the double greater than is used here to indicate that the data flows in the opposite direction from C out. If we run our program, you'll see what I mean. Immediately, we are asked the question, what is your favorite number? The CN statement then tells the computer to wait for input. So now we'll type in 21 and press enter. This is the result. The CN statement allowed us to send our integer 21 from the console window to the integer variable i number, and the next line sent the value of i number back to the console window. This concludes the lesson.